Hello guys, welcome back to Paper Whisper. Today I'll be teaching you how to make one of my favorite models, the squish and spin. So this squish and spin is a really cool fidget that you can make um, from three square sheets of paper. Really simple. To start, we're gonna use three sheets of printer paper, letter sized, and I'm gonna cut them into squares. If you're wondering how to do that, I'll, you, I'll be showing that in the video. Sorry, I don't have the model. You'll see what it looks like in the end. I'll put it on the thumbnail. So, um, wait, you're gonna start by folding the short edge to the long edge. Wait, move some stuff. One sec, sorry. So you fold the short edge to the long edge. You have to make the crease too strong since I'm not gonna be using it. Turn it over and fold a crease from that goes as hard as it can go without it ripping or overlapping. Basically making a rectangle that goes along this line. Make sure it goes well. I have a, new, 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 I have a more detailed tutorial in the description. Turn it over and go along that same crease making it genderless. Turn over again, make a tiny rip, and rip it all the way across. Now we gotta do that three more times. Okay, I'm just gonna show you we got real quick. Okay, I'm gonna go a bit faster. Turn over. Wait, I'm so simple. Sorry. As I say in all my videos, by the way, what if you do leave a if you never mind. I don't like comments. Sorry about the time this is taking. I don't speak up things. That way, people, if people missed it one time, they don't miss it again. They don't have to rewind. Not a big deal. It's going to be good. Last one. Oops. Thing is, these squares have to be really good, so you want to make sure you do it care carefully. This is the last story. Sorry about the scratch on the table. I was playing with the teeth and then I had to take it off. By the way, shout out to Jeremy Schaefer for teaching this method of ribbon square. Finally, we have our squares. So we're gonna start, well, white side up. And when we do this, we're gonna um, fold in half. By the way, this is made out of snow kustama pieces. It's pretty cool. Fold in half rectangularly. Don't pull the edges to there. I don't know if you can just try your best. And now you're gonna take the you're gonna make it vertical, but I'm gonna just show it. So it's um so I, okay there we go. You're gonna take the bottom left corner and fold it. Fold, actually take the bottom edge and fold it to the left. Sorry the right. I'm well, it's my left. Then you're working on the other side. Fold it to your right. I can or my or your left. Um. Then turn, then unfold, unfold it all, and you're gonna fold the top right, sorry, top left corner. Let me turn around, and um, on here. So you're gonna fold, go along that crease, go fold this fourth, 
fold along this crease and then repeat. And then for, for the um, for this step, you're gonna tuck it in. Now, turn over and fold the pointy corners, the cute corners, to the non-acute corners, making a square, the one it's um, next to, not diagonal to, adjacent to. And now you're gonna make a mountain fold between them where they meet. And that's our first piece. We're gonna repeat the so fold in half. Fold into quarters and don't unfold. Oops. Okay. Wait, sorry, wrong way. I haven't done this for some time. Because I'm used to in some more complex models lately. I've been in some more complex models lately. For example, the yellow jacket by Robert J. Lang. Right now I'm trying to figure that out. It's a lot of fun. Almost done with the second piece. And mountain fold in half. We're about to fold the turned over. Second piece. One last one to go. And so this is sort of me can be challenging for some people. So that I've slightly recommend it for beginners. I'd say that you should make a couple models first before you do this. I'd say this isn't too easy, but still easy compared to like the yellow jacket or something. This is for most ergonomists, most ergonomists would say this is a really easy model, but I disagree. I'd say I prefer saying, saying the word simple or comfortable. People, are, Most people are comfortable with doing it, but um, but some people who are like really new to origami might think it's hard or stretchy stretches their brain oh um i can't wait to show you one of my other models the seashell that's one of my favorites it's out of moonlight put it on my pieces put it on moonlight i should say Sorry, I got the, um, sorry, I got it wrong. Okay, so now that we have this tucked in, we're gonna do the last couple steps. Okay, time for the interlocking. Put them together. What we're gonna do we're gonna turn these over and you see how there's a, a crease here that we want to make sure is the down is gonna be facing vertical if we did it so that it was facing horizontal like this that's a bad thing we don't want that so we want it facing vertical as you slip in these flaps into these pockets and you're gonna make sure it sticks together by making this. And you're gonna squash it together. Make sure it goes all the way in. Now, we're gonna tuck these in. Be careful not to rip it because this could ha that could happen. We're about to get to the squish and spin part of it. I'm not sure if it's going to work with purple with printer paper, but let's see. 
not sure that I've ever done it with Burn Away Room. Three years I've known it, or three years ago when I designed it. Crazy and nerdy smell. It's a smell. Anyways, ta-da! And if you blow on it, or if you do on it like this, and the thing is, when you blow it up by pushing on the two vertical points, it spins. I'll give you the two into a tutorial and bye.